This video is for the beginners of phaco emulsification. A beginner phaco surgeon who has done phaco emulsification for few months with divide and conquer technique can go directly to this technique for direct job. First, select this kind of cases: a cataract with moderate density, that is grade three nuclear sclerosis. Select cataracts like this and you can easily practice direct chop yes it is not at all difficult rather it is easier than direct divide and concur technique in divide and concur technique you are making you are sculpting and you are always afraid how deep you should go here you don't have that fear just have to hold the nuclear mass with high vacuum and chop it and your chopper is only the chopper I use is only 0.5 millimeter and you can easily get choppers which are between 0.5 to 1 millimeter so since the nuclear mass since the nucleus is about 4 millimeter thick there is no way that you can pierce the posterior capsule with your chopper mm -hmm. so you just hold the nuclear mass with high vacuum and chop it. But this time, in this case, hydrodissection has been done and nucleus has been mobilized. Now is the time to enter into the eye. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to hold the nucleus and how to chop it with your chopper. And remember, this is the ideal density. So sculpt few skulls and go at a deeper plane and hold the nucleus with high vacuum and chop it. So go to position 3, bury the tip, hold, come back to FECO position 2 that is aspiration mode and chop the nucleus. Here again, hold the nucleus and chop it. See how easy it is yes it is much easier than divide and concur and stop and chop technique just making few sculpts going to a deeper plane hold the nuclear mass at the center where it is most dense and chop it and this grade 3 nuclear sclerosis is usually cuts very easily the nucleus is usually brittle and you can very easily chop it and when you get accustomed to chopping this kind of cataracts you can go to a little harder cataracts like grade 3 plus or grade 4 so for beginners this is the ideal case to start direct chop FECO power used in this case was 60% and flow rate was 40 ml per minute and vacuum was 400 millimeter of mercury in a Oatly Catarex 3 FECO machine. Every machine has its own settings. You just have to see which setting is comfortable to you and which setting is efficient as well. We must not spend a lot of time inside the eye. Fecal emulsification part in grade 3 cataract should be over in 2 minutes. And other steps should take about 6 to 7 minutes. So in 10 minutes your surgery should be over. Yes, beginner surgeons can take a little longer time, say about 15 minutes. But if you spend a lot of time inside the eye, what you are going to do is you are going to damage the corneal endothelium. In this case, I have implanted a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. Viscoelastic substance has been used for implantation of this lens. And now, this viscoelastic substance, which is HPMC in this case, has to be thoroughly removed. And I remove it in several steps. Here it is. 
First, I use a Simcoe cannula. This is stage one. First, I use a Simcoe cannula, and there is about six cc of BSS in a syringe. And what I do is I irrigate about three cc anteriorly and three cc posterior to the intraocular lens. So I'm irrigating the anterior chamber now and a lot of viscoelastic substance is coming out through the manualization. This time I'm not aspirating, I'm just irrigating. I'm going behind the aisle and irrigating another 3 cc of BSS. Lot of viscoelastic substance comes out by this simple irrigation. And then I ask for bimanual IA. Oh, after irrigating 6 cc, I do some aspiration with this Simcoe cannula itself. At this time, many of us can stop, but the patient may have high intraocular pressure in the post-op period. To avoid that, take bimanual IA and first, this is the stage 2. First, use only the Irrigating probe, irrigate both behind the eye well, in front of the eye well, and then this is stage three. Use both irrigation and aspiration, and be there for about 30 seconds. And now inject moxifloxacin. This is moxifloxacin. And now I hydrate the sideboards. After hydrating the sideboards, I ask for the Simcoe cannula again. Go to a little higher magnification and gently irrigate so that this irrigating jet goes towards the corneal endothelium and if any viscoelastic substance is sticking to the corneal endothelium it comes out. That's it. The case is done. I form the entire chamber and conclude the case. Thank you very much. Hope this video will encourage you to do direct job.